Ambari is located in Moss Landing, which is really a fishing town. So you don't have to go very far offshore and you're in very, very deep water. My name is Colleen Durkin and I am a scientist at Ambari. I didn't really know that being a scientist was a real job. I really only figured that out when I saw all of the people doing science. We looked under the microscope at phytoplankton and the zooplankton, and so that seemed magical to me, and it still seems magical to me. Phytoplankton take up carbon dioxide, use that to build their cells, and then the byproduct of that is oxygen, which they release back into the atmosphere. So we are only here as air breathers because phytoplankton evolved. I tell my young nephews that I study poop. And they don't believe me. And so then I have to show them my scientific publications on it. Yeah. I wanted to just show the mock community samples. I am something of an expert in identifying what kind of animals these microscopic fecal pellets come from. There's a lot of digging to do here. Here's another really fun one there, a fecal pellet. And those fecal pellets sink into the deep ocean. This is part of that carbon cycle. There's a hexagonal array of six cameras. Working with the engineers has been one of the most fun parts of my job learning about how technology works, hearing their wild ideas uh, and pushing farther than I would have. One thing that is exciting about Ambari is that we're a community of peers, and so we get to learn from each other and contribute to each other's work. Oceanographers have been studying how the ocean regulates climate for many, many decades. However, we still have so much uncertainty. So in order to get past that limitation, we need new technologies to help us observe the ocean at the ocean scale. That is what is needed to better predict what's gonna happen in the future.